Well, I hope that we will be able to make the point that foreign policy is much more than the interaction among diplomats. That questions of global health, of climate change, of the, the ability of the international community to react to those phenomena is a crucial part of our foreign policy. And I expect to, to get also some scientific advice. I think that our interaction with the scientific community is crucial for our success. We need to bring together people with different backgrounds and disciplines. We really need to look at this one planet, one health concept, where we look at health, we look at climate, and we look at biodiversity. These the issues are usually dealt with by different communities, different governments, different ministries, and different sectors. And we really want to solve this crisis. We have to work together. I think the funding side of the, of, the, of the equation needs to change to recognize the interconnectedness of our world. And we need those kind of funding streams. We have to start with ensuring that our environment is solid, that our environment is strong enough, resilient to climate change, providing benefits to people, and also continue to grow and thrive in the way that can support an increasing world population. The declaration that we're aiming for at the end of the day will embody many of those principles and I hope will uh, form a, a beacon or a light that will also inspire other governments around the world to take on these issues. It's critically important to discuss how we integrate human health, wildlife health, environmental health, climate change. How do we integrate all of these things so that the whole can be greater than the sum of the parts? And this is a great step in doing that. I can say that it is important to educate the youth about planetary health and One Health so that, that, so that they can work to implement policies and come up with solutions that, for, that helps in managing the environment. There is only one Earth. We know that as a fact now. It's your home. How long should you keep talking until you begin acting? that we see live in a world that's being impacted by climate change, we're looking at issues like food security, we need to go back to those principles. So today, with the adoption of the Berlin Principles, we want to put this back on the world stage and carry it forth to the United Nations and all the various places so we can really work together to focus on one planet, one health.